Hi, everyone. My name is Ben Hillskamp. I'm the executive director here at Love Boldly, and I'm so happy to be joining you today for Asking for a Friend. This is our series where we answer questions that have been submitted to us or questions that have come up in discussion, uh, specifically from an LGBTQIA perspective. So the, the question that I have today is, I experience same-sex attraction, but believe identifying as gay is a sin. How did you come to a different conclusion? Well, for me, and I am decidedly someone who's on side A or the more affirming side of um, LGBTQ issues, um, I, shortly after I came out, I had a great conversation with uh, one of our chaplains at the college I went to. And she said this, God does not make trash. And that stuck with me. I really believe that God makes us in God's image. I really believe that God makes us LGBTQ or heterosexual, makes us cisgender or transgender, makes us white or black or Asian or Hispanic, Latina. Um, however, God makes us, God makes us. Um, and, and for me, because of that, God does not require, I do not believe God requires someone to live in spite of how God has created them or to live in a way that is not authentic with how God created them. Therefore, being gay, being in a relationship with someone of the same gender, realizing that one's sex or gender aside at birth is not their actual gender. None of these things are therefore sinful because it's how God created us. I appreciate the chance to ask, answer that question. And I recognize that my answer may be different than the answer you come to. So I guess if, if I was in conversation with this person, I'd want to hear as well what you would say. So if you're someone who's asking yourself or believing that being gay is a sin, I'd love to hear your side too. But again, thank you for asking. Mm -hmm.